Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Gamer and welcome back to another car crash video. So today is the start of a new series called How Many Cinder Blocks Does It Take to Stop a Car? So today we have one cinder block going against one truck. And over the following days, we'll see how many cinder block walls it takes to stop this a singular truck. Now we're just still at close to 300 blocks an hour. And of course, watch the car crash at real time speed, the motion, and the movement angle. Notably, the top three, which is by far the most interesting. So, I hope you enjoy. Also, if you have any ideas or videos, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my very best to do them. So, here we are coming over the hill. Speed increasing incredibly fast, over 250 km an hour now. That's the overdrive, which just broke, and right before impact, I'll pause. And we'll switch to 16 times slower than regular speed. So just one brick didn't stop the truck, but it totally demolished the front of it. It went directly into the driver's face, into the driver's seat, squishing that driver if he was there. Yikes. And of course, the bricks are lagging out, but well, that's to be expected. It's just the game. The engine is somewhat intact, it did get squished a bit, but the back of the truck is a bit quite okay, don't see much dent there, but the windshield is totally gone, the middle of the truck is gone, the seats appear to be intact, weirdly enough. Okay, now we'll speed up to 4 times regular speed, still going 185 so there's an hour. Have a small impact on the side of here, on the side of the barrier. It's gonna do too much to destroy us. And now we have a final impact into the retaining wall at the end of the map. Which, if a driver wasn't dead, he sure is now because that pushes the driver totally. And it's also a brick in the our trailer. So, plus one bricks. Now we'll view the car crash from the next of you in real time speed. Yikes. Now let's take a look at what a driver would have seen in slow motion. Yep, a brick to the face. Super deadly as it appears, and super destructive. This is a truck, isn't, this isn't a regular car. This is a very dense metal truck. And it took out the entire front of the windscreen. That's how it impacted the side. It was quite hard, but compared to that first impact you, it's like nothing. This is our final impact into the retaining wall, which squishes us totally. Yep, squished. Can't see anything. Just red. And now, let's take a look at what a driver would have seen in real time from the driver's perspective. And impact. That's our one. Convenient. And for our last video today, the top view in slow motion. So 16 times regular speed and enjoy. So destroy the front, but didn't do much to the trailer. Because I'm guessing that's a lot of dense and harder. Seeing that you normally put rocks in there or sand or whatever you could think of. There's some debris falling off, I believe that's a grill or bumper. But it's not anymore, there are bricks everywhere now. There's just an explosion of bricks. Then we hit the side of the barrier. 
a minor-ish impact. Doesn't do too much. She accepted the truck, but wouldn't have killed you if you were still alive. And a final impact into the retaining wall. Unfortunately, you can't see much of what happened. But that's that car crash. And our final view of the day. We're going to view the car crash from the top view of the pickup of the dump truck in real time. That's a brick wall. That's a dump truck. I hope you enjoy and if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you later. So watch as the speed slowly increases as we go down this very steep slope which you can't see from the top view but uh, by the rate of speed increasing you know how fast that is. Stopping at around 278 and that's an impact. There's just a spray of bricks everywhere until we hit the retaining wall. And that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.